We are now joined by our poll sitter for Sunday's AdvoCare 500, Kyle Bush, driver of the number 18 M&M's Toyota. Congratulations, new track record. Talk a little bit about your lap. Uh, it was a really good good lap for us. You know, uh, the M&M's Camry's been fast since we unloaded off the truck, and guys gave me a great piece. So uh, I'm looking forward to the race this weekend. You know, it's just uh, a matter of uh, keeping it going. You know, we, we qualified well here today, but we got to have two solid practices again tomorrow, keep the grip in the car, and make sure we do what we can to uh, close out one of these uh, final two weeks. All right, we have questions for Kyle, please raise your hand. Okay, let's start here with Reed, the blue. I read Spencer with NASCAR Wire Service. Um, just how treacherous was the track out there during the, um, during the qualifying and were you on stickers or scuffs? Um, for us, the, the racetrack wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was really slick to start with when we first went out for practice uh, earlier today, but then our mock runs and everything, we were fast right off right off from our first mock run. Uh, we just had to make slight changes. We made three of them. And uh, since we made three of them, we used um, three sets of stickers all in practice. So we ended up rolling out on one of our used sets of scuffs and uh, made our lap. All right, let's go to the gentleman here in the yellow. Uh, hey, Kyle. First off, um, congratulations on your poll. And, um, you know, my question is, you know, coming off the disappointment of not making the chase this year, um, how is it important for you and your team to get a get a win or maybe even two wins by the end of the season to carry on to 2013? Well, I think it's uh, I think it's important for anybody to, to get a win. You know, obviously, if you're in a chase battling for a championship, a win always helps. Or if you're uh, a guy looking for third or fourth in points, you know, whatever it may be, you want to win the race. So, uh, for us, it's no different. Obviously, we, we strive for perfection, and we try to do the best we can in each and every week. And we've been good uh, a lot of weeks, and, and we've had a lot of good runs and, and times where we've been up front or have had chances to win but just haven't been able to close out the deal. So, um, you know, last week we were running hard with the top two guys in points and seeing them running running up the track a little bit, you know, thought we could squeak through and, and, and get ourselves uh, the lead, but uh, just didn't, didn't quite have enough to, to get through there. So... Uh, we've got to work hard at, you know, being able to get that track position. Obviously, I think track position is huge anywhere you go. But, um, you know, since Phoenix had the repave, it seems like it's a little bit harder to pass than what it used to be. So, uh, number one pit selection is going to help us. And, um, you know, starting out that way, you could say is good for us. But, uh, of course, anything can happen early. But, um, you know, we hope it makes for, for an easy day for us. All right, let's go to David next and then Jim. Yeah, David Newton, ESPN.com. You mentioned watching Jimmy and Brad racing ahead of you last week. And I think Tony called it a death wish, and you kind of agree with him. What, what do you all mean by that? Did you feel like they were a little bit over the top for guys racing for a title or what? Uh, I don't know what Tony means. Uh, just from what I saw and from what I said in the media center last week, you know, it seemed like Brad ran Jimmy up the track a little bit. And, um, you know, if you're Jimmy Johnson, obviously you feel like you kind of – have one over the guy but Jimmy's smarter than that and better than that where you know you don't expect that from him but um, you know you, you see I, even if you're myself or Tony or um, you know somebody else just running around there for for race wins anymore you know guys that are eliminated from the championship um, you know you almost kind of side with a guy who's cleaner than another guy and and you'll do anything you can to make that other guy's day hell all right Jim Jim Shaw Observer, I think the stat is that you guys have scored the fifth most points so far in the chase. Uh, going back to the earlier question, would a win sort of cement the fact the last couple of weeks here that you guys are on the right track for next season? I think it would, but, um, you know, a anything we're doing this year is obsolete for next year with all the rule changes and the car changes and stuff but the biggest thing that we've got right now is just the communication and the chemistry and stuff that's going on where you know Dave and I talking back and forth and being able to to work with one another the best we can to get a good handling race car out there you know obviously we can we can talk about changes and work through things really well that way uh, no matter if we're going to be doing different types or different sorts of adjustments next year during practice it's still kind of the same you know, chemistry that you've got to develop there. So uh, just keep going with that. All right. Mark, do you have a question? Yeah. Uh, Kurt, uh, any everyone. any new, any good news is good news. I, or Kyle, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, a poll, I guess, is good news. That's what you want. That Even if it's just a poll, you welcome that right now at this point? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we've shown speed, like I said earlier. We've shown speed this year, and we've shown – 
we can run up front. We just haven't shown the consistency based off our finishes. Um, you know, we, we have bad luck just keep hitting us. You know, it's unfortunate. But, uh, you know, sometimes you can't – you can't um, – do anything about some of those things you know you have a brake rotor explode on you at Pocono or um, you know three engine failures in a row or a guy driving through the back of you and wrecking you at another racetrack so you just sometimes you just can't you can't help those things all right thanks go ahead yeah Mark Muller Mark Muller Annette, Annette. I'm a little uh, surprised at you're a fast starter to the season the season goes on forever and Jimmy's a fast closer and sometimes Dale Earnhardt senior used to have a, a, a summer slump I mean over the 10 months, is that something you guys can sit down and look and say, well, we need a break here or take a vacation there or work harder on this car? How, do you, how does Kyle Busch get to be a good closer like Jimmy Johnson the last 10 or 12 weeks of the season? Well, that's a very good question. You know, sometimes guys say that, you know, they run the, the first half of the year at 90% or whatever it may be, and then they actually can kick it up a notch for the chase. Well, I'm, I'd probably say that that's one of my weaknesses is I don't have that extra step to go. I'm full bore every week. That's all I got, you know. So it's like last week coming down towards the end of those race, the race, you know, those guys were pushing harder and pushing as hard as they could. And I felt like if I did any more, I would cost myself time and distance to them. So I just kept running at my normal, you know. It's like whether they're running at 100% or whether they can actually get more if they go at 110% and just overdrive the heck out of it. Um, you know, for me, it seems like any time I overstep the 100% that I start slowing down. So uh, there's got to be some ways of, of getting better, and obviously we need to do a better job of coming down towards the end of the year, being able to close out the year stronger. But um, tell me in any instance where it's something I can do differently, you know. Uh, I feel like, uh, and that's not a kick to, to JGR at all, but uh, unfortunately we've had a lot more um, – technical issues in the last 10 races and we have driver issues so um you know this year for instance um you give me a second place finish this is back to utter you give me a second place finish at uh, at loudon where i was running before i broke and um eighth place is a safe finish for kansas and i'd probably be the top point scorer you know so it's just it's it's just relative i mean jeff gord could say the same thing he had a throttle stick at chicago right so um, you just do the best you can with what you got that day, and whatever results given to you is is what you get. All right, Woody. Woody came with MRN. Kyle, just wanted to shift gears and ask about your uh, your nationwide and truck stuff. You had the announcement earlier about uh, signing Joey. Where do things kind of stand with the rest of it for next year, and what are you looking for there? Uh, the um, the a I guess I'd call it the A truck, the 18 right now. It's it's good. It's ready to go for next year. Uh, we just haven't fully announced everything yet for that. Uh, obviously, Coulter coming on board, that's a great step for our organization and having a driver that can contend for the championship, which we haven't done yet. So um, that's good. And um, obviously, that's, I call it Team B, I guess. And then, uh, you know, the nationwide efforts, we're still kind of looking around on, on whether we can do a second nationwide car or whether we do a third truck. So, um, you know, those options are still out there and up in the air. We'd, uh, we'd really like to help out, um, you know, and get a full season under the belt of like a Drew Herring or a um, or a Daryl Wallace or somebody from the JGR camp, you know, or even a Ross Kenseth. You know, I was asked that question earlier this month. But there's a lot of good drivers out there that have a lot of good opportunities or talent that if they're given the right opportunity could show that. Uh, it's just unfortunately there's, there's um, 36 trucks every week. There's 43 nationwide cars and 43 cup cars. And then you've got – 22 or 24 different racetracks you go to every week with three events a weekend so sponsorship for all that stuff is at a premium and um, so it's we're all competing against each other if you look at it you know even the racetracks are competing against the race teams to secure sponsorship for weekends so um, you know it makes it tough on all of us all right any final questions for okay al yeah uh, al pierce motor week at what point during qualifying today did the weather begin to play an appreciable role? Was it halfway in or a third of the way in or, or just what? I can't remember the exact point, but I did see it. Uh, I think Jimmy still went out in the sun, and um, Brad maybe was in the sun. I can't remember what, what car it was, but then you could start to see the, the cloud cover and the sun go behind the clouds, and you could just feel it shade the whole racetrack. And then definitely more towards late in the going, it, um, it actually turned dark and the lights were more useful um, than what the sun was actually giving us. So 
that's when you really start seeing change in temperature and uh, and grip and everything else. All right, any final questions for Kyle? All right, congratulations.